Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA1969. Again, my friends of the 1987 Supermod, I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is the American Wrestling Association, and we are set to record the fourth episode of All-Star Wrestling for June 1987. Let's get right to it, everybody, and take a look at our card for tonight. We're going to have a couple dark matches here. We are going to see the terrorist and Mitch Snow in these dark matches. We're going to see Johnny Rich going on to the main card now. We're going to see Johnny Rich and Greg Gagne in action. Colonel De Beers will have a singles match. Larry Zabisco is set to wrestle in the semi-main. In our main event, everybody, we have a special six-man tag team match as Kevin Kelly, Buddy Rose, and Doug Summers face Jerry Blackwell, Wahoo McDaniel, and Baron Von Rotschke. We're going to see some promos here, everybody. Nick Bockwinkle will keep that feud alive with Kurt Hennig with his promo. Larry Zabisco is going to cut a promo, and we are going to see the former tag team champions of the world, Buddy Rose and Doug Summers, cut a promo of their own. So with that said, everybody, with all of that said, let's get to booking. Here we go, David Price versus the Terrorist in our dark match opener. David Price, of course, resembles the Wolfman. But we've been over that before. Look at him. It looks like the Wolfman. And here is the Terrorist, who, of course, is Jack Victory. And this one is all set, everybody, but we forgot to put dark. So here we go. The terrorist is our man getting the win here. That one's booked. And up next we have Mitch Snow in action. And Mitch Snow is going to face Crusher Krugnoff, who in the final days of the WWE, uh, AWA got a push. I don't know how. Well, probably out of desperation because this guy was awful. But there it is, the standard Russian look, the shaved head, bad facial hair. Here's Mitch Snow, the man that looks like a million dollars, but we can't have Mitch Snow in there because Mitch Snow is not available for this show. But we do that already and just forgot to put it in there, so we are going to have Ali Khan in place. And Ali Khan will get the victory here, everybody. So let's make an adjustment here. Ali Khan is not a good wrestler. That's not going to be a good match. All right, Mike Tolis, the man that looks like the Greek loan shark and the corner store. He is going to face Johnny Rich here in our opening bout. And here he is. Here is Mike Tolis. And here is Johnny Rich, the cousin of Tommy Rich. 
Anybody on here know if that was just a, a kayfabe gimmick thing, or was that legitimate? If you know, let me know. They look alike in the face, but I'm just not sure if that's actually... I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, Johnny Rich is going to get the win here, everyone. This one is in the books. Up next, we have Mad Mountain Mike, big giant dude. He's going to work the part of a heel here against Greg Gagne. So here is Mad Mountain Mike. And here's our man, Greg Gagne, former World Tag Team Champion. Gagne with the W here, everybody. This one is in the books. Up next, we have the promo here with Buddy Rose and Doug Summers. Buddy Rose and Doug Summers cut a promo. Here is Buddy Rose. Here is Doug Summers. They're talking to Larry Nelson. Of course, this would be a pre-taped promo. And they're going to be talking about the current World Tag Team Champions, Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels. Entertainment, entertainment, and booked. All right, Frank Reese is facing Colonel De Beers here. Colonel De Beers with that South African gimmick. I just was listening to a podcast earlier today where they were blasting the hell out of this gimmick and saying how it was not over in the 80s. Uh, although I like that podcast, I disagree. I watch the old shows, and the fans really hated this guy. So I would say that he was definitely doing something right. All right, Larry Zabisco is going to cut a promo here. Larry Zabisco is not in a formal feud at this point. Larry Zabisco is one hell of a hand. He can talk, he can wrestle, you name it, he can do it. Here is Larry Nelson. Anybody that you ever hear talk badly about Larry Zabisco does not understand how wrestling worked and how it worked for generations and decades. All right, Houdini versus Larry Zabisco. Unfortunately, everybody, for those of you that may be new fans, what you see today was not how wrestling was intended to be. What we're watching now, and don't get me wrong, I like a lot of modern wrestling nowadays. I shouldn't say I like a lot of it. I like some of it. There are some good things out there, but wrestling today today is uh, not based on what wrestling was intended to be. So you watch it from 30, 40 years ago, you are watching something that's almost completely foreign to the show that we see today. Whereas before we had a sports-based presentation, they were trying to make you leave, believe that this was a believable, this was a real sport, where nowadays they don't work on that. And nowadays it's pretty much just a display of moves. So of course, Larry Zabisco is going to get the win over Houdini here. And again, I don't know how Houdini never got the big push with that look that he had. <laughs> the mustache, the feathered mullet, the glasses. I just don't get it. All right, Nick Bockwinkle cuts a promo here, everybody. And Nick Bockwinkle at age 53 is still the man. Still the man in the AWA here. All right, he's cutting that promo with Larry Nelson. He's cutting that promo on Kurt Hennig, the man that has recently turned heel. All right, this one is booked. Here comes our big main event, everybody. Excuse me if that came through. Here is Kelly, Rose, and Summers versus Blackwell, McDaniel, and Von Rochke. This one's going to go 20 minutes. Here's Kevin Kelly. Here's Jerry Blackwell. Now we can plug in our two tag teams. So here's McDaniel and Von Rochke. Here is Rose and Summers. 
All right, what do we want to do here with this match? If you'll give me one second, please. I have to sneeze and turn the microphone off. All right, it has gone in the area that I live in here in the Midwest. It has gone from being in the 30s to apparently 84 degrees today, everybody. It hit 85 yesterday. So everything has gone in fast forward and bloom. And my allergies are killing me. Of course, we are going back down to 36 degrees overnight tomorrow night. All right. So here's what we have going on here in this big six, man. We have Rose and Summers that are on the hunt for the World Tag Team title. So we got to get them the win. Okay. So Doug Summers is going to go over here. Now. Baron Von Rotschke taking the, the loss is no loss. It's no big deal. But we are going to have manager interference to help the Playboys here get the win. Nobody's complaining. And we're ready to rock here, everybody. So here we go. We're going to start the show. That rhymed. <laughs> All right, the terrorist gets the win over Wolfman Jr. here. With the pile driver 37 and a 22 gets us a 23. Ooh, Ali Khan gets the win over Crusher Krugnoff with a whopping 15. Oh, Mike Tolis and Johnny Rich get a 14. How does that match go? How does a 30 and a 21 get a 14? There's not even that bad of takeaways and lots of bonus. Oh, boy. Not good. All right, up next here. We have Mad Mountain Mike and Greg Gagne. Greg Gagne takes the bigger man down and gets the win with the Gagne Sleeper 42 overall. Here we go with the promo from Rose and Summers. We get a 53. Lots of green here. That's a good sign. Frank Reese falls to Colonel De Beers with that pancake pile driver, which we would eventually call the pedigree. And not too many takeaways here, which is a good sign. We do have some very good bonus here. All right, up next, Larry Zabisco cuts an outstanding promo here. 76 overall. Good stuff. Up next here we have Houdini. Man, this guy just looks like a superstar. Would somebody please run one of the indies and, and give Houdini a push? I want to see it. 78 and a 17 gives us a 60 overall. That's a fair score. I'll take it. And here we go. Nick Bockling with an outstanding 82 promo. Good stuff and helps that feud continue. And here we go with our main event. Everybody is the Playboys defeat Blackwell, McDaniel, and Von Rotschke. We get a 66 overall for this one. Buddy Rose looked better than anybody, and that does make sense because Buddy Rose was a flippy, floppy, bumpy machine. All right, 66 overall. Let's see how our overall score does. We get a gain of popularity in 10 regions, so that's doing pretty good. 68 overall, and we'll take it. So here we are. Now this one is going to bring us back the main screen we are done with our all-star wrestling tapings so the next time we'll tape again we'll be back in action with championship wrestling and let's head back and see if we've loaded yet we have not so i will keep talking and saying random things <laughs> all right what do we got going on here everybody let's take a look at our incoming jerry lawler did a spot for All Japan Pro Wrestling, and he is gone. All right, I don't see too much that catches our eye. WWF Roberts over Valentine, 92. Very good. Um, NWA had a live event. Flair over Luger, 99. Good stuff. We lost some major money recording those shows, which is expected. We're going to make that up on the live event loop. And that, everybody, is going to do it for us for this episode. So for those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a message below. Let us know how you found the channel and what you think of it so far. And those of you that are new, if you like what you see, you can get much more. Head on over to patreon.com slash Network. There, you will get yourself access to all of our shows early and YouTube ad-free. You will get access to all of our spreadsheets version 10.1 of the Supermod, and so much more, everybody. Check it out today. It costs less 
than a cup of Starbucks coffee. For only $5, you'll get access to all of this. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Don't be afraid to check us out on social media, Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 You can also find us over on Reddit, under the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. Don't forget we're also on Discord, under 1987 Supermod. If you join Patreon, everybody, you will get a free membership to Wrestling Fans International Association. That's right. The famous organization from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s is back. And it's also back with its bi-monthly publication, Wrestling Fan News. Membership is free. Check it out today, everybody. The WFIA.org. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.